Welcome. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the Network tab of the SIDRA Intersection 9.1 User Interface. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit like, and leave a comment on this video. We'd love your feedback. Now, let's begin. The Network tab allows you to create a number of networks using the sites already set up in the Site tab. You can configure and analyze networks of up to 50 sites with ease, subject to a network-level model license. You can also create routes in your networks. A route is defined as a series of movements in one direction of travel from site to site. Various network templates are available from the Network Setup Command Group. The Networks section in the Project pane displays all networks and their routes included in the current project. Networks can be grouped and managed under folders. Select a network by clicking the network name in the Networks section. The network name will be highlighted and shown with a checkbox. You can right-click the network name in the network section or click the right arrow on the selected network bar to access various functions that apply to the selected network. Similarly, you can right-click the root name to access various functions that apply to the selected root. The Network tab ribbon consists of the Network, Network Setup, Root Setup, Functions, Network Folders, and Network Data Summary Command Groups. The Network Layout button in the Network Group will open a tabbed layout display for the selected network in the display pane. When you select a route, the Route Layout command becomes accessible. Double-clicking a network name or route name is also a quick way of opening the layout display. Right-clicking a network layout picture will open a network menu which will allow you quick access to the network input dialogs and other commands. Individual sites are outlined when hovering your mouse over the network or route display. Right-clicking a site area in the network or route layout picture will open a site menu, which will allow you quick access to the site input dialogs. Click Select Site in the menu to mark the site as selected in the project pane. Multiple sites can be selected in this way. The Network Setup group in the ribbon displays the commands to Add a new network, Rotate or clone a network, Select from network templates, Import a network from another project, and export selected networks to a new project. Use the Root Setup group to add new routes, create a copy of an existing route in reverse direction, and clone existing routes. Functions commands allow you to modify a selected network or route and use the Move Up move down and delete commands to organize the networks, routes, and folders in the network section of the project pane. Click the Modify Network command to open the Network Configuration dialog. Select a route to access the Modify Route command. Click to open the Route Configuration dialog. 
Using Network Folders commands, you can create a new folder and move selected networks to different folders. The Network Data Summary group will open reports and displays for checking various input data specifications. The Network Input section includes Network Data, Define Common Control Groups, Common Control Group Phasing and Timing, Network Timing, and Network Demand and Sensitivity Input Dialogues. Clicking an input dialog in the Network Input section of the project pane will open the dialog for data entry for the selected network. The Network Data dialog allows you to specify various network input parameters and manage a number of output settings. The Define CCGs dialog allows definition of common control groups for sets of directly connected signalized sites controlled by a single signal controller. When common control groups are introduced in the Define CCGs dialog, the CCG phasing and timing dialog will appear. Layout, CCG phase sequence, and movement IDs displays are available within the CCG phasing and timing dialog. This is to assist you with input data entry and allow direct data entry in the phase sequence picture. The network timing dialog includes coordination, signal offsets, and timing options tabs for specifying network signal timings. If uncoordinated sites and CCGs are specified, the contents of the table with blue text will change. The table indicates the network timing options that apply. The Network Demand and Sensitivity Input dialog provides design life, flow scale, and sensitivity analysis options. The Sites and CCGs in Network section of the project pane lists the sites and common control groups included in the selected network. When a route is selected in the Networks section of the project pane, an additional route input section will appear. Sites and CCGs en route will also be accessible. Click to open the Route Data Input dialog for data entry for the selected route. The Route Data dialog allows you to specify various route input parameters and settings for output reports and displays. The Interactive Offsets tool allows you to graphically adjust traffic signal offsets to optimize two-way progression quickly and easily. To learn about this tool in detail, please view the Interactive Offsets tutorial video available on our YouTube channel. Once you have completed your network data specifications and processed a network successfully, output will be available under the Network Output, Root Output, Network Site Reports, and Network Site Displays tabs. When a network is processed, warning or error messages may appear. The warning or error messages will be included in the diagnostics reports available using the commands in the Network Output and Network Sites ribbons. In such cases, you need to make any necessary corrections to the input data and process the network again. Click to open Network, Root, and Network Site Output Reports and Displays in the Display pane. Let's click Movement Displays. 
Then click the Open All Pop-Ups button and organize pop-up boxes. You can right-click any network, route, and network site output report or display area to open a menu which will allow you to access the input dialogs and various other commands. This concludes our overview of the Network tab in Sidra Intersection 9.1. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, Help System in the Software, and view our other YouTube tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.